the Geely Cool Ray, a vehicle that stretched the boundaries in terms of what we can come to expect from a vehicle at a given price point. A game changer that took the motoring industry by storm, offering unparalleled features, tech, and performance. It's been almost two years since this was initially released, yet even up to now, this still has that wow factor that not many competitors can rival. But now we have this, the Cherry Tigo 7 Pro. And the Geely Cool Ray may have set the bar high, but let's see if this can raise the bar even further. market for a crossover and you want something that's loaded to the gills with tech and features and you also want good performance, then both these vehicles should be on your shortlist. Both these vehicles are top of the line and they're similarly priced and they both come with goodies that were once wishful thinking at this price point. But that's where the similarities end because as you'll see, both these vehicles take a slightly different approach in giving you a compelling crossover package. For starters, the Cherry Tigo 7 Pro is a compact crossover while the Geely Cool Ray Sport is a subcompact, so it should come as no surprise that the Cherry Tigo 7 Pro is longer, wider, and taller than the Geely Cool Ray Sport. When it comes to aesthetics, you'll see that the Cool Ray Sport is designed a bit more aggressively, while the Cherry Tigo 7 Pro leans more towards the conservative side when it comes to design. The Cool Ray has a subtle body kit, full carbon fiber touches, quad exhaust tips, and a rear spoiler to really give it a sporty vibe. The Tigo 7 Pro, on the other hand, has a more elegant appeal. But in any case, I'm sure few would disagree that both these vehicles are stunning. And when it comes to exterior features, you'll also see that both these vehicles are closely matched, as both come with LED headlights and taillights. And while only the Cool Ray gets steer-sensitive headlights and front fog lamps, the Matrix LEDs on the Tigo 7 does a superb job when it comes to lighting duties. And the turn indicators help to give it a more modern and upscale feel. Along the side, you'll see that it's neck and neck as both vehicles come with power folding side mirrors and 18-inch wheels. Moving on to the back, you'll see both vehicles have LED taillights, but only the Cherry Tigo 7 Pro gets a power tailgate, which can be operated hands-free. Again, it should come as no surprise that the Tigo 7 Pro has a larger cargo capacity with 475 liters, while the Cool Ray only has 330 liters. Overall, I think the Cherry Tigo 7 Pro's rear end looks a lot cleaner. The lines aren't as sharp, and the taillights look more modern, while the spoiler looks better integrated. And it would have been a knockout as far as the rear end is concerned, but the Cool Ray manages to stay standing because the Cherry Tigo 7 Pro has fake exhausts. Now let's check out the rest of the interior, starting with the Cool Ray. The Geely Cool Ray Sport may have been released back in 2019, but I'll tell you right now that it still has what it takes to compete with some of the latest offerings, especially when it comes to the interior space. This was a game changer, and while some manufacturers have managed to follow suit, this remains to be one of the best interiors out there in the market. And notice how I didn't say at this price point? We'll talk features later, but first let's cover the design because everything in here is a work of art, like these air vents and these door handles. Your eyes are also treated to a vast array of different textures. And similar to the exterior, I love how they manage to be aggressive or adventurous when it comes to styling without making it look polarizing. Now let's move on to the features. And as you may already know, this thing is packed, starting off with this infotainment system. And if memory serves me right, this is one of the first touchscreens above 10 inches that also came with a 3D 360 camera at an attainable price point. The 360 camera is a handy feature which is now starting to make its way into more cars. But one thing that should come standard in all automobiles is a dash cam, and this has that. It's built in and will even show you your speed and turn indicators. Worth noting is that this does not come with Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, but it does have QD Link so you can still hook up your devices. Moving on to the instrument cluster, you get a 7-inch LCD which varies its layout depending on which drive mode you select. Other niceties include dual zone automatic climate control, an electronic park brake, an electronic gear selector, 
a power adjustable driver's seat, and a panoramic sunroof. My only gripe with this is that the sunshade is fairly thin and it doesn't keep the sun out as much as you'd want it to. And that can be a real pain if you leave this parked under the sun for a long period of time, especially given the fact that the rear passengers don't get their own air vents. Instead, they get charge ports. Space back there is not bad as there is decent legroom. Headroom, however, is somewhat compromised due to the sloping roofline. And the black headliner doesn't do much to make it feel roomier in here. Anyway, let's go check out how the Cherry Tigo 7 Pro compares. This interior may not be as artistic as what you'd find in the Cool Ray, but it still feels extremely upscale. And besides, simplicity has never been a bad thing you still get different accents and textures to break the monotony, and the ambient lighting is also a nice touch. You can even have it flash in sync to the music you're listening to. Like the Cool Ray, this also comes with a massive infotainment system, which also has a stellar 360 camera. iOS users will be happy to know that this comes standard with Apple CarPlay, but Android users will have to use MirrorLink to hook up their device. This also comes with a wireless charge pad, which is strategically placed so you have full view and access to your device while it's charging. The instrument cluster here is also a 7-inch LCD, but you can only change the colors and not the layout. So the one in the Cool Ray is a bit more configurable. Moving on to the air conditioning system, you also get a dual-zone automatic climate control system, which is operated via this touchpad. Now, I would typically say that knobs and buttons are a bit more intuitive, but the fact that this has indents makes it easy to operate even when you're not looking. It just takes some getting used to. Other features here include an electronic park brake, an electronic gear selector, power seats for both the driver and front passenger. This even has lumbar support for the driver, as well as a panoramic sunroof. Thankfully, the sunshade here is a lot thicker. The rear passengers also get their own air vents, not to mention significantly more room than anyone sitting at the back of a cool rig. And this light interior also makes this cabin feel a bit more airy, despite the fact that it's already more spacious. Now let's go see what these vehicles are like out on the road. And we might as well start with the Cherry Tigo 7 Pro since I'm already in this one. So under the hood of the Cherry Tigo 7 Pro lies a 1.5 liter four cylinder turbocharged engine which pumps out 145 horsepower and 210 newton meters of torque. Now that's not as much as what the Geely Cool Ray makes, but trust me, it's more than enough. Now this is also mated to a CVT, which would typically be a negative, but in this case it's not, because peak torque comes in as early as 1,750 RPM. So power delivery is early, and that takes care of the rubber band effect that's inherent in most CVTs. So the CVT in this thing is really not an issue. Now the steering in this thing is extremely light, so it's a breeze to use when you're parking or doing tight maneuvers. But it also doesn't feel disconnected. And I love how it firms up a bit as you go faster. So overall, it responds quite well to your steering input. When it comes to NVH, you really can't ask for more. The car does a superb job in keeping the noise outside. Plus the fact that this has a four-cylinder engine, which means there's less vibration when you're idle. In terms of ride comfort, again, you really can't ask for more because the, the suspension does a really good job in soaking up the road imperfections, yet it remains composed around corners. So it's very well balanced. Now let's go see how the Geely Cool Ray Sport compares. So under the hood of the Geely Cool Ray Sport, you also get a 1.5 liter turbocharged engine. However, this one only has three cylinders. But despite that, it has significantly more power. This puts out 177 horsepower and 255 newton meters of torque which is significantly more than what you get in the Cherry Tigo 7 Pro. And that makes this pretty quick. But before you allow that to help you form your decision as to which of these crossovers is better, you really need to ask yourself, 
Are you gonna use all that power? Do you really need all that power? Because with great power comes, I'm not even gonna say it, it's just too cliche. Now, unlike the Cherry Tigo 7 Pro, this does not have a CVT. Instead, it has a seven-speed dual-clutch transmission. So is this transmission sporty? Well, despite the fact that this car pulls hard and that transmission puts the power down really well, I wouldn't call it sporty because when you pop it into manual mode, it takes a split second for the gears to engage each time you use the paddles. But the good thing about this transmission is it's a wet type DCT, which means it uses fluids to keep the transmission cool. So you won't have to worry about it overheating or any jerkiness in bumper to bumper traffic. Now, as far as NVH is concerned, the only noticeable difference between this and the Cherry Tigo Pro is the fact that there's a bit more vibration when you're idle. And I'd attribute that to the fact that this has a three-cylinder engine. So it's a little less refined, but that's only when you're idle. When you get going, it's hardly noticeable. Now, the steering on this is slightly weighted just a bit more, but it's not exhausting. And I did notice that the ratio on this feels a bit quicker. It's, it's quicker to respond to your steering inputs. Now this also has a self-parking feature which will come in really handy for a newbie. But other than that, it really just serves as a neat party trick. And I think that's all that separate the two as far as driving dynamics is concerned. Because when it comes to comfort and the overall riding experience, the difference is pretty much negligible. And that means to say that they're both very good. Both these crossovers are priced exactly the same at 1,198,000 pesos. So it's definitely not going to be budget, which dictates which of these crossovers should end up in your garage. However, when you factor in the cost of long-term ownership, Cherry's three-year free service plan is hard to overlook. Not to mention the fact that you get a five-year bumper-to-bumper warranty, free roadside assistance, and a 10-year warranty on the engine. But aside from that, the fact that this offers more space and comes with more usable features such as a wireless charge pad and a power tailgate really makes it a more sensible choice. But if you don't need all that space and you want something that packs a bit more punch, then the Geely Cool Ray Sport might be the one that floats your boat, especially if you suck at parking. Now I'm kidding about that last part. And I usually end by saying it's a toss between logic and emotion. But just because I said that Cherry Tigo 7 Pro is the sensible choice, that doesn't mean that it won't make your heart smile.